So let's start off with this. Hawaii hires Timmy Chang as their new head coach. Uh, he was at Colorado State as, I believe, a wide receivers coach. Incredibly young. Most people agree that he is not quite ready for this job. However, Hawaii is maybe in a position where they need a fit more than anything else. They need somebody that truly understands what it means to be down there on the islands. And, you know, it's a strange situation. All of the June Jones stuff. Did you see all this that went on over the weekend? I think Friday night was the uh, the biggest part of it. No. No. All right, so June Jones came out, uh, and he, he sent out a couple of tweets. He was offered the job and then declined the job. He said, I would like to comment and give my thoughts on the football head coaching job at why I am still interested in this job. Now, obviously, this is before uh, they hired Timmy. But uh, he said, I'm interested in this job for the people of Hawaii, but the job offered to me, there is no way I could accept it with the conditions that they offered it. No coach in their right mind would accept this. He said, dictating who can be on my staff in only a two-year contract, what recruit would come here if I was only here for two years? This has never been about money but it's about giving me the ability to turn our program around and not have people tell me who's on my staff or how to coach my team. So you get all of that before you get all the, the Timmy Chang stuff. And I uh, started asking around to some people that, that would have at least some knowledge of the situation. And basically, because I, I looked at it and I said, this is stupid. Like, these guys down in Hawaii don't know what they're doing. This, I believe, was meant to be a mentorship he was going to, like, they told June Jones, you got to bring in Timmy Chang, and he's going to be your second-hand guy. Like, he's, he's your right-hand side, and you're going to teach him how to be a head coach, and then after two years, you're handing the reins off. Like, we would love for you to come back and do that, because June Jones ain't exactly uh, some spring chicken. I mean, he's 68 years old. He This would have been his last coaching job. I don't think he wanted it to be that. I think he wanted to have control of it, and I understand where he's coming from, but Timmy Chang uh, has never even been a coordinator, has never had to run even one side of the ball. And, you know, I get where they're coming from. So Timmy Chang is the dude. Uh, I think it's going to take some time. And But why do that? Why, if you're an administrator, why do you do that? Why do you, wait, which part? The Timmy Chang why part do, or the June Jones? Why do you handcuff the June Jones guy to, to a legitimate head coach? To this other guy that you want to be your head coach, he's just not qualified. It's, and so you're just trying to get him qualified. <laughs> right. I, I, I think. I, I go, because what happens if you go through that rigmarole and Timmy Chang ends up being a dud? Like, not a good guy. Like, now you've wasted a large portion of time and resources on trying to, to force this guy into being something he might be or he might not. Well, I Why think, do that? So the situation here is. You you know that the next two years are going to be bad regardless of who it is, right? Because they've had so many people transfer out and whatnot. They are in uh, financial straits at Hawaii. Like, that program is up against it right now. And it's going to take time to be able to put together a roster, to be able to, to put together any kind of an offense, et cetera, it, because they're still working on the stadium. They're still working on a ton of stuff down there. And it, honestly, I mean, they got hit pretty hard by COVID, et cetera. It's going to take time to build that program back, and which is why they went retread in the first place with Todd Graham. Nobody wanted Todd Graham. They got Todd Graham, you know, pretty cheap, and it was just somebody that they knew could come in and maybe wouldn't completely derail the program, right? And there's no doubt they're getting Chang on cheap. Oh yes, I mean dirt cheap, dirt cheap. I mean it's just, it, it, but but it's somebody that everybody knows, and it basically uh, a smaller. Maybe not smaller. Uh, it's a little bit like Memphis hiring Penny, uh, Penny Hardaway for basketball, right? It's somebody that the fans are still going to support. They will still give to the program. They, they're they going to give him way more leeway than they would somebody like Todd Graham. And you let him come in and, and try and learn on the job. Like, that's the biggest thing. And, and if you've got June Jones, then at least he's learning from somebody that has had success at the program and understands how to build it back. But... But why you would completely handcuff June Jones? I mean that that just doesn't make any sense. I mean just like give the guy a four or five year deal, uh, get him on the cheap because you could get June Jones on the cheap. Yep. Like and, and ask him please to hire Timmy Chang because he probably would have done it anyway. Timmy Chang or, was a quarterback under him. Like go, like you know who could have gotten on the cheap? Your last coach, Golovich. Yeah. <laughs> 
He can get him on the cheap, and that's a legitimate head coach, bona fide head coach. Like, okay, uh, instantly half the people watching this hate his politics. That's fine. Okay, yeah. that's that's fine. But like, this is this is a real professional, you know. And this he is won. not a guy that just once played for. I don't understand this Michigan man mentality from all of these different places that we have to hire somebody that's been connected here. We're not even interviewing people. If you're not from here, like that's insane to me. Like I know that Hawaii is a tough, tough football job, but do you know how many of some of these D two, like division two, uh, well, I guess FCS level coaches are real coaches. They're bona fide, legitimate professional goddamn coaches. Yes. Okay. And some of those guys would like to get the hell out of Siberia because some yeah. of them have been wasting away in the Dakotas or or the middle of nowhere in this country freezing their asses off. And they've got a system that works, and they know and, how to build they, a program. And They feel like, yeah, if yeah. you give me some resources and access to more talent in Hawaii with just the locals, I can, I can do something. Yes, I could build. I could at least try to do something, but they're not even they're not even open this thing up for discussions. No. That's what I find to be ridiculous. Like, yes, it's a very hard job, especially for the next two years. It's going to be insanely hard. But all of these things are hard. Like nothing in this sport is easy. That's why these guys are highly compensated. I was just trying to look up Timmy Chang's contract. I couldn't find the numbers. No, nah, they don't like, have them out yet. But like this is this is why these people make the amount of money they make is because their jobs are tough. Like, yep. like if you want an easy job, I mean, shit, I got an easy job. I'll hire you, pay you fifteen <laughs> bucks an hour. You don't do shit. Like, the people that work for me, not my flooring guys. My flooring guys work their ass off. People at the stamp place, they don't, they don't do dick. They sit around and play on their phone for four hours of the day. Like, <laughs> like, but they also don't make a lot of money either. Like, yeah. it's not a complicated job. No, it makes they don't sense. have a lot of responsibility. Oh, uh, these guys are highly compensated because the job is tough. All right. Like, yeah. that's the argument that I get from people. Well, you, you know, <clears throat> Hawaii is a, a unique job. And so, you know, it needs a unique. But why? Okay. Yeah, it's tough. Yes. Yeah, I bet I yes. bet coaching in South Dakota is pretty damn tough, too. Like, you ever try to recruit there? <laughs> it's almost impossible. Almost like, impossible. No, I'm with you. Uh, it, I don't understand why. You know, and this you, is not a shot at Timmy yeah. Chang. I don't hate this guy. I don't. I don't even know this guy. Like, I don't remember him playing. Okay, really? But yeah, I'm just look, man. I don't. I don't know. Wow. I, okay. I, okay. I mean, he was. He was like. I don't know what I was doing in 2012. Well, he was the right? superstar before. Uh, before uh, Colt Brennan. Brennan. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember so. Brennan. I remember Colt. Like. But anyway, neither here nor yeah, there. He regardless. was there, what, 2012 time? No, like, no, no, no. Brennan, Brennan was like 07, 08. Timmy Chang was like 0, 03, 02, 04. Oh, well, then I was in the thralls of just me being in college. Like, no, that's when I was in school. Yeah. All right? no, he yeah, was he yeah, was a I, superstar. He he flung that ball yeah. all over the place. It was it was no, a lot of fun. That's fine. Yeah, I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to to Hawaii back then. So it's it's um, still run and shoot kind of stuff. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. And I um, wish ill on him. I just don't understand from a managerial perspective, from an administrative perspective, the people who are responsible for putting this on the athletic department and the school president. I just don't understand. So you hired an outsider last time and it didn't work, and he was an asshole, and so now we're just not going to hire outsiders. Like we're just going to interview only our own people. Like, this is not Michigan, where at least you have, uh, you know, several hundred years of alumni bases around school to be, like, to pick from your Michigan man, all right? Like, like well, this, true. Is, this I, is Hawaii. You got, like, seven <laughs> people in the world that might might be semi-qualified. This guy is the second most qualified person of them all, and he's not qualified at all. At yeah. all. No, that's, I mean, the other one would have been. His uh, only qualification is like, he played the sport. Yeah, the running backs coach from Arizona State, uh, defensive, I want to say defensive line coach from BYU, all guys that, like, either played at Hawaii or coached at Hawaii that have, like, some ties to the current. Like, that's that's what the list was basically down but to. But I don't understand that, Gary. But that's, well, and so part of it is the. Do they uh, not know that these other people exist in the world that coach football? No, no, so, and they're really good at it? No, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I understand where you're coming from. I think part of it is the the time of the year that it is, like the calendar. Um, 
the other part is like it, you know it's all networking a lot of this stuff is just networking it's just you you go with guys nepotism. that you know because That's of the, the situation word you're looking for, that you're right in. wait what nepotism best to work looking for yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.